Welcome. Today I would like to talk about how you can create a TPL Dataflow custom block uh, using uh, essentially implementation of an interface. This is a little bit more complicated than the example I have done before. So if you want to look at my previous example, you can take a look at this TPL Dataflow custom block. And this uh, is a more simpler way of uh, implementing a custom block, but less powerful. So I want to show you another way uh, using inheritance that you can also try for a custom blocks. So just to refresh your memory, you may want to watch that video again. But basically what we have is we have a stream of numbers 0 through 9. Uh, we are going to multiply them by using a transform. So you get uh, 3 messages converted into a message which are multiplied by three and then we do a sum of odd numbers this is where it comes uh, we have a reason to do a custom block because we want to maintain the state or sum and also we are uh, essentially summing the odd numbers in the stream so the output should be this uh, <coughs> here so uh, let me just run the example as is uh, right now and so you can see it okay let me see if i can run it yeah i should be able to run it <coughs> so you can see the output is as expected so let's try to convert this into uh, using something uh, of a custom advanced block so what i've done is i've created a class called custom advanced and we are going to instantiate that class and uh, basically use it uh, wherever we were doing some of odd numbers you can look at the old example to see what this is or the, what the context is but basically we want to be able to use this as new custom advance so now you can see it is complaining that this is not a block and all that so let's see how we can resolve this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to inherit from i propagator block and the input is obviously an integer output is obviously an integer and uh, that's all we want to do and now it is telling me that I have not implemented some of those things. So let's just implement that interface to keep the con keep the compiler happy. So we have to implement basically all of these methods and I'll show you how to, to go about doing that. But once you do this, you can see that the squiggly lines went away and the compiler is happy. So uh, to implement that interface, what we're going to do is we want to borrow some of the logic that we already had in the old sum odd numbers and I can copy that to save some typing here and I'm going to just essentially transplant it instead of war output what we really need here is uh, we need the source so I'm going to change it to the source block which is the input and the target has to be uh, a property that of the field we are using here and we are going to send this to the source so the easiest way to think about is that all of our incoming messages will come to this action block and from this action block we basically send our output to this source or the buffer block. So let me forward that document so it looks nice and here obviously we want to use this sum so let me just change that as well. And we don't need a local variable for sum so I'm going to get rid of that. So that should uh, really uh, fix this. We got the sum uh, and all that going. Now we have to implement all these things. So first thing we want to implement is the completion. And what we are going to do is pretty straightforward. We're going to so when the source gets completed, this uh, custom block is considered completed. So I'm going to just say source.completion and that should uh, fix that. Uh, when uh, a complete gets called, we are basically going to call the complete on our target block, so uh, which is essentially what it is connected to. So we can say target.complete and that should take care of that as well. Now we come to the consume message uh, as to how to do that. And uh, basically what we want to do is when we are told to consume a message, uh, we will call the consume message on our source but you cannot directly call the source because it doesn't have the right typecast so what i'm going to do is i'm going to typecast it to i source block and of course we know the messages are integers and if i do under source source 
intelligence uh, should uh, basically try to help me find uh, the message I need and we want to call consume message oops sorry wrong one and we are going to pass everything that uh, we are getting which is message header target and what is the last parameter message consumed and we need to return the value so that should uh, really fix this i source block integer consume message oh here we have to put in the message consume the out Okay, so that fixes the squigglies and we got our consume message working properly. Uh, what do we do about the fault? Basically, once we have a fault, we want to pass the fault to our incoming block, which is the target. So this is, uh, we need to test, uh, typecast it to a target block. We are going to typecast it into a target block. And uh, the target block is essentially target. and then we will essentially do the fault and the exception and this should uh, fix the problem here so we are passing basically the exception to the target and that should be good uh, when our link to gets called we want to call the link to on our uh, source block that is correct so I'm going to copy this uh, information from here, the top, the typecasting stuff. So we don't have to go through so much pain here. So we got the source here right now. Uh, we just need to link it to the target and give it the link options and that should fix that too as well. Uh, what do we do when we get called offer messages? And when we get called offer messages, we want to offer those messages to the target. So let me copy a typecast for the target so we can take care of that. And I'm going to return whatever this returns. Uh, what we have to do is can have offer message and then message header, message uh, value. and source and consume to accept so that should uh, fix that offer message as well now we got two more functions for release reservation and uh, reserve message and they basically we will uh, do the same methods or pass through on the source block so let me copy the source block uh, cast here and we can do it uh, for this so what we want to do is call release reservation message header and then the target so that should take care of that and since there is no return we can get rid of this uh, void because it's a void and there's no return here so we can get rid of that uh, let me get the fix the cast for this other one reserve message and we will call the reserve message in the message header and the target and that basically completes all of my implementation here uh, let me get rid of this breakpoint we don't need it here and I should be able to run and get pretty much the same results so let me uh, run this and see if I get the same values such as uh, the ones I got before. So you see the implementation is correct and we're getting the same output uh, we expect here, right? Uh, only one other thing I wanted to quickly demonstrate to you that uh, if you do it this way, you can have a little bit more insight as to what is happening into your uh, blocks and when the messages are offered and I'm going to just put a breakpoint here in offer message so you can see it for yourself. 
So if I uh, start this, uh, you can see that in our custom block, uh, we are going to be offered those messages as they happen. Okay, so I need to fix this. Uh, instead of read key, I need a read here. So I'm going to change that and uh, restart this again. And if you wait a second, you'll see that our custom block is being offered messages. And uh, these are the, uh, and you can see the message value is zero and you can see the message values here. So let me just continue on. You'll see that the message value is three now, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, and so on. And I'm going to release this and you can see that you can get a little bit more insight as to how custom block is being offered messages and what it does with this. So thank you for watching this short screencast and I'm going to add this into my uh, under TPL data flow custom block advance and thank you and you have a great day.